Hi everyone and welcome to the next episode of Let's Play Again. Today we're going to be playing a sports game called Arnold Palmer Tournament Golf. Oh, and what fun we're going to have with this game. Well, I, I didn't mind it too much, but then I know how to play golf. <laughs> yeah, this game, you really need to know what you're doing when you play golf. And if you're taking lessons from me, that's very bad because I only know how to whack a ball in a driving range and mini golf. Yeah, you actually, you actually need to have a knowledge of what different clubs are capable of in this game because unlike most other golf games, it doesn't actually tell you like what distances a club is capable of. So it will just say, you're this amount of distance from a hole. Um, deal with it. <laughs> <laughs> I, had, I had to actually ask Daryl what some of the clubs were. Like, um... There's the there's the I one. They're the irons. I, I, so you've got the W, which is the woods, irons. and then you've got the PW and SW, which are wedges. Mm. Yeah, didn't didn't know any of that. <laughs> so I mean, this is pretty traditional for a golf game, and also our guy is called Gog, which stands for GU Golfer. Um, mm -hmm. The only th the annoying things about this are like you see the wind thing it doesn't really tell you which direction the wind is going because if you think about it the wind could be going from left to right which would push it on the southern end but it could also be going from right to left which would push it on the northern end so it could be going either way i, I still didn't really yeah. figure out which way it actually is going no it just, just kind of go down the middle and uh try and yeah try and get an accurate strike and then it won't have any curve and just pray it just goes from like normal speed to like scary 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 fast yeah i mean this here really explains like you know so i don't know how far a sandwich can actually hit off the top of my head so i was like okay i'm not too far from the green i'd do it lightly it only went like four yards yeah <laughs> and the the radar on the top on, on the left of the screen is really not representative of the actual position of your golf ball like it'll look like it's landed really close to something and then when you actually get there you're miles away yeah. I actually, like, there were some cases where I couldn't actually find where the hole was. I was just kind of standing there trying to figure it out. So I was just like, why don't I whack my ball in this area? Yay, double bogey. I'm lost. Look at that. It's great. <laughs> yeah, apparently these guys are all extremely professional. I love how the caddies no are all, all female game. as well. Yeah. And all of the golfers are, are male as well. Hmm. So this is one of the annoying things actually. Um, if you, uh, when you're swinging, it works like a typical golf game. So you have to swing and then you have to press to set your power. And then when it comes back down, you have to uh, press to set your accuracy. But in mm -hmm. this one, if you fail to press it when it's at the top, it will just keeps asking you to do it again, over and over. Yeah. So if you're really trying to get the most powerful swing you can, you can be there for quite a while doing, like, fake swings. Yeah, pretty much. This game, like, I mean... If you want to play it well, you have to know golf, but ultimately anybody can really play it and... Maybe not be successful on the scoreboard, but be successful in the sense that I got the ball in the hole. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I mean, I mean, I managed to get a few pars, but if I actually knew how, how uh, far the clubs were capable of hitting, I would be able to get a lot better scores. Because half of it is like, okay, so that last hole, my drive went in a bunker, which mm. wasn't helpful, and then <laughs> I had to use like a wedge to get out of the bunker. So I was already like down two shots, but I still managed to get par. Which is nice. I didn't manage to get par at all, but that's just showing my true colors. I'm not a golfer. In the rough. Bounced over the hole there. Yep, in the rough. Mm -hmm. I remember I got it stuck in that dark brown bit, and uh, it was like, ball is out of bounds. And I was just like, damn it. That's not you, Wait, you, you managed to hit something out of bounds? Yeah. That's impressive. I haven't managed to do that yet. <laughs> well, I, it wasn't even that I hit it out of bounds, like, far away. I just hit it in the brown ditch thing, and 
I don't know. It just said it's out of bounds, and I was just like, okay, <laughs> I guess I'll do it again then. Oh, it's worth noting as well. It's showing you a picture of the feet because you can actually change your feet position. Um, mm -hmm. That seems to be like draw and fade, so you can um, determine how much curve there is on on the swing. But I can't really verify that. <laughs> yeah. I don't really know what it helps either. Well, draw and fade is, is swerve on your shot. Okay. So, like, you know, when you're aiming, you're saying, I want to actually hit it in that direction, but a draw and fade is like, you hit it straight, but then it will curve when it's in the air. Oh, I think I figured out what the, um, I think I figured out the wind thing. Because you see now, the rooster is facing that way. I think that has something to do with it. You see the the in some instances the um the rooster is facing like head on so it's like it you see a straight line but in some instances it's like sideways maybe that has something to do with it and the other thing is just determining how fast it is yeah exactly hmm. how crazy the wind is Lauren you're a genius <laughs> uh well I wouldn't go that far. Maybe genie-ite or something. genie -ite? Something of that sort. Genie-ite, yes. Well, I'm still oh, last gosh. on the scoreboard. Uh, I think knowing yeah. what direction the wind was going would really help me. No. Since I seem and I'm to be also quite disappointed. General. I'm quite disappointed that our golfer is not wearing plaid pants. I would have expected Yeah, it's a pretty generic thing. outfit, really. Mm -hmm. Yeah, come on. Come out with the ugly patterns and... The pink shirts and the uh, crocodile shoes. This guy just looks like he's just a regular person with a paddy cap. Oh, this was, this was a really, really close. No, it wasn't this one. There was another one, I think. Maybe it's on one the whole afterwards. I, think. I, I did a really, really close pit, um, wedge shot. And like, Look at that! I mean, come on! <laughs> it even says like you're zero yards from the hole. Thanks. <laughs> it's like great, thanks. You you can have given me the benefit of the doubt. Oh, you're tied with Reed. Yeah, well, um, that's all that I managed to do, unfortunately. That's it this episode of Let's Play Again. Be sure to check out other episodes on our YouTube page, which is forward slash gaming union. Also, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for future episodes. Thank you for listening and watching. This has been a gamingunion.net production.